Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skyforge. During the last part, I completed the open world region of Herden Temple. Now in this part, I'll be venturing into the Iskenian Peninsula, a large and diverse region that has many ancestral relics and shrines, as well as a large temple complex. You're here! Finally! The gods have abandoned us! Demons, Phytonites, what did we do to deserve this? So many people have died, but we can still save some. Talk to our monitor, Aiden. We need to save as many people as we can. They say the waters of life and death still have healing properties. I wish I could fill a couple bottles for future use. The beautiful Eskinian Peninsula lies on the picturesque coast of the Diomane Ocean. It has caves, catacombs, ancient groves and grottos, a temple complex, and a pilgrim-founded settlement on the east coast. There's a lot of history behind this region, especially in regards to the time of Eli. Unfortunately for us, the seals for the portals used for a demonic invasion back in ancient times have mysteriously broken. This has caused the cascade effect, with demons pouring out into the temple complex, causing the dormant fight knights to awaken from their slumber, and putting the native wildlife into a frenzy. Plus, other malcontents are trying to take advantage of this chaos in order to plunder ancient artifacts and relics. Lots of people have perished because of the attacks of the aforementioned hostile factions, and the survivors have called upon the immortals to rescue them. The four quest chains here involve helping the pilgrims with their various problems, stopping the invading demon swarms who are pouring out of the broken seal portals, saving this place's ancestral legacy from a group of illegal archaeologists who are planning to rob the ruins, and saving the pilgrims trapped in the cave system from the invading fight knights and native creatures. We certainly have our work cut out for us. As I've entered a new region, I'll be swapping over to using the Warlock class. The Warlock, or Witch, if you're playing as a female character, is a magical attack class that focuses on debuffs, sustained damage over time, and crowd control. Their primary means of damage is by applying damage over time effects and debuffs like Taint or Aging to their enemies, and then spreading the debuffs and damage to nearby enemies with Epidemic. They can consume their damage over time stacks in order to burst down enemies, and can also crowd control and debilitate targets rather well. Of the two stances available, the Curse stance focuses on applying dots, debuffs, and reducing enemy effectiveness, whereas the Extermination stance focuses more on straight up dealing damage. However, to use several of the abilities in the second stance, you must have applied Taint to the targets while in the first stance. Thus, in order to attain full combat effectiveness with this class, you'll need to learn how to properly manage your skill rotations and swap between the two stances. Moreover, this is a more fragile class, and because it takes longer to start bursting down enemies, it'll fall behind the Archer and Cryomancer in terms of PvE content, especially open world regions. Personally, I enjoy playing this class. It's certainly a more involving one with all the skill management, but it's fun to whittle down enemies and bosses with all the dots and debuffs. We'll only be encountering the Fight Knights and indigenous wildlife in this part, but soon in the parts to come, we'll start encountering the demons and illegal archaeologists.
Let's kill- Oh, Aeli is still watching over this place if he has sent you here in our dark hour. Things have become really bad because of these creatures. First, I'd like to ask you to notify everyone of the evacuation. I'm afraid not all residents know where they can board the rescue transports. As you can see, I'm busy right now. The fight and I are trying to reach the town. And I must prepare our people for a fight. <sighs> uh, it's not time to be thinking about this. But Lyra has been gone for a while, and I'm really worried about her. Mm -mm. Lyra is my granddaughter. Huh. She's a smart girl. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her since the trouble with the fight tonight started. But now is not the time. Go now. Everyone is waiting for your help. We'll be hearing a lot about Lyra during our adventures here. I'm just a tour. This peninsula has quickly become one of my favorite open world regions in Skyforge, the reasons of which are the following. I like the route progression, although it's more linear, the variety of environments and settings we encounter, the backstory and lore, and that we have a common narrative thread from start to finish by way of the peninsula's priestess. This is also one of the biggest open world regions so far, with 4 quest lines and 63 quests. This is up there with Nairi Island and Mylan Caves. In fact, if I was at or very near the prestige level of the region, which is 45, I'd estimate it'd take at least 6 to 8 parts to complete this region in its entirety. Thankfully, it'll only take 5. So they're evacuating everyone? Thank you. I'll go get my family now. It's all so unexpected. Why have these creatures suddenly become so active? I'll be happy to leave this place. It's getting too dangerous here. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. I wouldn't want to miss being evacuated. I envy you. You're going to the caves. I came here specifically to explore them, but that was not to be, apparently. You need to ask? An ancient temple complex, its foundation laid by Eli himself, nearly untouched since his reign, full of secrets and mysteries, and between you and me, ancient things that sell pretty well. Different things, but mostly rune stones, of course. Runestones are, well, I won't lie, no one really knows what they are. But
but tourists and collectors seem to appreciate them. You need to activate special stellas to obtain runestones. You'll know them when you see them. But there's no way to predict where you'll find the next stella. They can be anywhere. Have you met Laia? I'm worried about her. Laia is our prophetess. She... she's not like other people. You'll know what I'm talking about once you meet her. The last time I saw Laia was when she led the pilgrims into the caves, to the Altar of Light. Then the monsters appeared. Perhaps Laia and the pilgrims are hiding in the camps in the nearby caves. Please. Find her and help her get back. Laia has a connection with this place. She can't die. It'll be quite a while before we meet Laia in person. In fact, it'll be during the end of the last part of this region. Also, this starts a trend of this region, where we learn about Laia's last known location, but when we arrive there, she has already departed deeper into this region. Nonetheless, as we'll discover throughout this region, Laia has a lot of special abilities and a deep connection to this peninsula. In fact, she will be involved throughout this region's overall plot as the aforementioned common narrative tread. Note that you are looking at a well-known attraction, the Runestone Altar. Only one of the three runestones contains a reward. Activating the others will summon wardens. The caves of this peninsula are part of the reason why I like this region so much. They're filled with a lot of interesting looking foliage and lighting, and the groves and grottos create a nice atmosphere that's stunning to look at.
Only one of the three runestones contains a reward. Activating the others will summon wardens. female voice from the void who's telepathically communicating with me. I wonder who that could be.
I didn't think anyone would come here to save us. I'm all right. Please help my Lena. She's severely wounded. There's so much blood. There's a fairy growing nearby. It, it's a plant. You can wrap its leaves around a wound, but I'm afraid to leave our shelter. I'm so scared. Thank you. If Melina died because of my stupidity, I'd never forgive myself. When Melina gets better, we'll leave this damaged grotto and never look back. Ah, oh, wait, I've remembered something. There is a dig site not far from the entrance to the sanctuary, further down the road. The archaeologist probably needs help too. Leia could be there with them. She must have stayed with a group. I don't know how anyone could survive here on their own.
burns hot somewhere nearby. I suppose this is a good time to end off this part. In summary, I landed in this peninsula at Hernet Pass, made my way through the Outer Grotto and Sunny Meadow, and almost arrived at the Dark Grotto. I completed 15 quests, bringing the completion of this region up to 23%. In the next part, I'll be exiting out of this first cave system and entering the first overrun temple. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Toodles!